Welcome back to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. As an Oracle customer, you certainly heard about our identity management solutions and probably deployed them already in your organization. Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Identity Manager are well-known market-leading products after all. With MAF, Oracle's mobile platform is more tightly integrated than ever with Oracle Identity Management. In this episode, you will learn about the features you gain through this integration. You will also see how to configure your MAF application to take advantage of them. I will not discuss how to install and configure OAMMS in detail, however, as this will require several episodes to cover everything. OAMMS has a very wide feature set. It can be leveraged for traditional web applications as well as mobile ones. Here, we will strictly focus on the later. The features cover four main areas. First, mobile services. OAMMS can handle authentication and authorization requests from native iOS and Android apps that use its SDK. The SDK comes pre-integrated in the MAF virtual machine. In addition, OAMMS can register devices and applications and can even uniquely identify each device which connects to it. This is called device fingerprinting. Second set of features is about social identity. OAMMS supports the OpenID and OHOT protocols. It can thus integrate with several internet-based identity providers, such as Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Yahoo. The third part of the feature set is OHOT services. Not only OAMMS integrates with third-party providers, it can also act as an OAuth identity provider itself. It can manage two-legged and three-legged authorization and will provide enhanced security if the client is a mobile application. And finally, we've got IDM integration. OAMMS integrates with other IDM products in Fusion, in Fusion middleware, such as Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Adaptive Access Manager. It can also use a wide array of LDAP servers as user directories. Please note you will need at least IDM 11G release 2 patch set 2 in order to support MAF applications properly. As you may guess, the actual features you will get from OAMMS depend on the other Oracle IDM products you will install alongside. OAMMS, however, can be installed in standalone mode. It can integrate with LDAP servers on its own, and you can use it as the relying party for internet-based identity services. This is called social identity in OAMMS parlance. In addition, OAMMS fully supports JWT tokens and can perform basic security checks in the context of device registration and access. If you install OAMMS with Oracle Access Manager, you will gain support for Access Manager tokens. This, in turn, enables you to use OAMMS as an OAuth security provider. Oracle Adaptive Access Manager, on the other hand, will bring device fingerprinting and multi-step authentication to the table. Moreover, you will benefit from advanced security checks when devices register themselves or access the infrastructure. You will, for example, be able to implement risk-based access control. OAMMS thus could deny access to a certain category of device or to devices connecting from specific locations or IP addresses, for example. Another great feature Oracle Adaptive Access Manager brings to the table is multi-step authentication. It helps you design iterative and variable authentication processes where credentials are not all supplied at once. A typical example is knowledge-based authentication, where users must answer security questions to which they have provided answers when they created their accounts. It must be noted that OAMMS, Access Manager and Adaptive Access Manager can be installed all at once if needed. This doesn't make a difference for MAF applications as they connect through OAMMS exclusively. 
From the perspective of the map developer, interacting with OAMMS is very simple. There are only three fields to fill when you create a new mobile and social login connection. But to understand what those three fields are all about, you need to get acquainted with the main concepts of OAMMS. First are service providers. In OAMMS, there is a distinct service provider for each of the supported authentication and authorization backends, as well as user directories. Those providers are exposed to the outside world through something called service profiles, our second concept. Service profiles are logical endpoints for service providers. Third are security handlers. They enhance security processes by adding business logic for trust and risk analyzers to them. Their use is optional. The fourth concept is application profiles. They describe the configuration and security properties of a specific application. Profiles are cross-platform, they support applications that run both on iOS and Android. And finally, we have security domains. Domains associate at least one app profile and one service profile. Let's now have a look at how to create a mobile and social connection in MAF. The first field is for the OAMMS main URL. In a default installation, port 14100 will be used. The second field is for the name of the target OAMMS service domain. If you need to establish login connections for both local LDAP and internet identity providers, you will have to define two distinct domains and thus use distinct connections as well. The third field is for the name of the application profile. If you want to use the third-party relying feature of OAMMS, you must create an internet identity application profile with the same name as the regular application profile associated to the service domain. I will now review the various settings you must select when defining service domains and application profiles to be used by math applications. My aim is not to demonstrate how to manage OAMMS, but rather to explain you what you should ask to an administrator in order to fulfill the requirements of a math application. We start with the application profile. The first step is to ensure that the mobile configuration option is checked. You will find it in the mobile application profile section. Then, it is essential to fill the platform specific settings section accurately. The values there must match the ones defined in the deployment profile of your math application exactly. The first two are the application's URL scheme and iOS bundle ID. The third one is called Android Package. This field refers to the fully qualified name of an activity in the Android application. In a math application, you don't write Android activity classes yourself. They are provided by the framework. Thus, the value for that field should be oracle.adfmf.container in all cases. Finally, there's the signature for the Android app. This one is a bit trickier. All Android applications must be signed in order to be deployed to emulators or devices. JDeveloper and Eclipse do everything for you when you deploy applications in debug mode. However, you need to create a key and a key store yourself if you want to deploy in release mode. In that case, you will have to specify the key store location and the alias for the key used for the signing in the preferences of your favorite IDE alongside with the passwords for the key store and the key. What OAMMS needs is an hexadecimal dump of the signature from the certificate used to sign your application. The easiest way to get that dump is to pipe the output of the ktool command as an input to the xxd command as displayed on the screen. This will print the dump in lines of 256 characters. Simply remove the carriage returns as needed, then paste the signature in the OAMMS user interface. Unfortunately, the XXD command is available on OS X and Linux. There is no easy way to perform the dump on a workstation running Microsoft Windows. 
One possible solution is to download a version of XXD compiled for that platform. Once we have an application profile, we can create the service domain. The domain type obviously must be set to mobile application. Math applications will work with either value for the credential for registering an application field. You must select the authentication scheme appropriate for the use case you want to implement. If you choose mobile service authentication, the client will prompt the user for a username and password. If you choose social identity authentication, the client will redirect to the mobile and social server and the user will use social identity to authenticate with an identity provider, for example, Google or Facebook. The security handler plugin name must be set to OAAM security handler plugin if Oracle Adaptive Access Manager is installed and you want the service domain to leverage its capabilities. Finally, you must associate the application profiles for your math apps to the service domain. You must give careful consideration to the service profile you will use for authentication. Three of the default ones use JWT tokens and one uses OAM tokens. Remember that OHO tokens are managed elsewhere. You will need to configure the OAMMS OHO service for that. If you desire to give users of your math application the opportunity to log in to Internet Identity Services through OAMMS, you will need to create an Internet Identity Application Profile in addition to the application profile associated to the service domain. Both profiles should have the same name. All OAMMS Internet Identity Application Profiles must contain a shared secret which is used for encryption purposes. You can use any arbitrary string. Internet Identity Application Profiles have a mandatory field called Return URL. It is irrelevant for mobile apps. You may set it to HTTP localhost. On the other hand, Mobile Application Return URL is mandatory and must match the URL scheme for the math application. This makes it possible for the OAMMS login page to bring the user back to the application after successful authentication. The login type field of your application profile must be set to Internet Identity Provider Authentication only. Mobile applications cannot offer local logins through an Internet Identity App Profile. You will need to create a service domain and a regular application profile for that purpose. You must disable browser pop-ups and user registration as well. OAMMS ships with pre-configured Internet Identity provider Providers for Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, Twitter and Yahoo. Simply check the ones you want to make available to users. There is something you should know about Internet Identity Service Providers. While they are pre-configured, they cannot be used out of the box. This is because Internet Identity Service Providers require you to register with them in order to grant you access to their APIs. I will not describe how to register with the supported services provider there, since they may change the process at any time. However, once registration is complete, you should be able to obtain two essential credentials from them. A consumer key, which is akin to a user ID and identifies you or your organization. And secondly, the consumer secret, which is used to sign the requests sent by the application on the behalf of your users. Usually, providers will let you use their services for free, but will cap the number of requests they will accept. Thus, you should remember that any serious usage of Internet Identity Service Providers will result in usage-based fees. Also, it is essential to create corporate accounts for registration and not to use accounts held by individual developers. This is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Oracle Access Manager Mobile and Social, or OAMMS, is a powerful addition to our family of identity management products. 
By using a mobile and social login connection, math applications can integrate very easily in your existing IDM backend. In addition, OAMMS enables you to propagate credentials using JWT or OAuth tokens when performing web service calls. I'm Frédéric Desbiens. Thank you for watching.